This video is sponsored by Christoph Bray for excellent low poly horror games. Check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to Through the Woods. Thank y'all so much for joining me on this journey. Hope everyone is enjoying it as much as I am. I do want to apologize for not recording this as much as I want to, or more as I sh probably as I should. Um, honestly, th this game has had some bugs to it that have caused crashing and... A couple times I had to restart from a certain area and go back to where I had to be. I don't know if it's the game itself um, or OBS or just my computer being a complete piece of garbage. It could be a combination of all of those. Um, so I do want to apologize. Um, I am very excited to get back in this and see what exactly is transpiring with Madam, who apparently has a few bruises on her face, too. She's definitely... A I love, I do love, want to say just for a moment, I do love how this game, while it, there might be some pre-purchased assets, um, I don't know if the antagonist is, did do that or not, or if these are hand-generated, but the level of detail going to uh, our main character with the bruises, um, her lips moving when she talks, the hand gestures when she coughs, it's really well done. I mean, and look at that, you've got the Aurora Borealis overhead. Once again, other than a few bugs and glitches, it's really enjoyable, and I do love the lore going behind this. Now, speaking of lore... Eric's house. Maybe Espen's inside. Ooh, with a complete with a Fenris head. Uh, okay, so before we go any further, um, when we last left off Madam, she had discovered that old Eric was apprehending children to feed to Fenris in exchange for some sort of prolonging the apocalypse... Um, and whatnot. So you can see by evidence here at the moon with the rake marks that Fenris is in going to devour the world if he does not continue to get his sacrifices. So, um, Espen apparently is the next one on the list, and it's up to us to continue to rescue him. But before we do anything with old Eric's house, I do want to explore as much as possible of the area. Obviously, the house is where we need to go, but I kind of wanted to see if there's any collectibles, more storylines. Now, I mean, of course, Fenris, I believe, was the one who ended up uh, killing Odin during Ragnarok. Um, I could be wrong. I'm... The cave was something from a nightmare. Toys and clothes strewn on the ground. Treasured items of a hundred children. More cast away like wrapping paper. It was a tomb, a sepulcher. The terror these children must have felt, the confusion, their only comforts torn from them. Yeah. I knew then I wasn't just going to catch up to Eric and save my son. I was going to kill him. Yikes. Okay, so the reason I'm backtracking is usually when you get the uh, recorded message, I think that's something of a plot point. So I want to explore this entire area from penthouse to outhouse and see if we can uncover some things about Eric and Espen and why Eric is the one that is carrying out Fenris. Um, once again, I want to say it's something of a Faustian deal, but I could be wrong. But I do love how we have to uncover these notes for ourselves to further along the plot. Is that on Watchtower? Um, so, I think what I want to do when I'm done with this and Absalom End of Gods is I'm just going to go back to doing two games per, um, at a go. Because between Absalom, this, and my Dark Souls lore through, and I'm going to probably I'm gonna continue doing lore throughs, I just don't know when. It just gets to be overwhelming. And, you know, y'all already know my schedule, that work is out of whack, and... Uh, just my stress levels. I mean, I'm recording this just a little bit after I did my interlude video, so you can kind of tell that I'm not in the greatest of places, but I'm doing my best to get there. You can probably tell from my voice. Um, uh, I mean, work just bent me over a desk, I mean, recently. Oh, is it Friday already, Boogie Night? You know what, Lloyd? I've seen the usual suspects. I know that line. Yeah, you want a piece? What is this, though? Speaking of piece, is it like red crystal? What is this stuff? Okay, so I think we've exhausted everything we can do in this area, and now we need to go into old Eric's house. But in the last couple episodes, we've noticed um, that 
villages did not want their children to be taken away and sacrificed to Fenrir, that villages were literally killing themselves. They were doing mass ritual suicides to prevent from dealing with old Eric. <clears throat> or trans give, or giving their children over to be transported to Fenris. I never know whether to say Fenris or Fenrir. <clears throat> Once again, I am not well versed in Norse lore. Um, but I do a little bit of studying here just to kind of double check my plot points. But as Cliff Clavin likes to say from Cheers, strictly theory. Okay, so I think we've done enough out here. Oh, one other thing I do want to comment on is the... I love the horror aspect, but it's starting to get a little bit predictable, where it's one part exploration, one part horror. Of course, we got to go check out the bog, because see that? This is a shed of some ilk. Okay. It's... We have a combo lock, so we need to see if we can open that up, and hopefully we got another tumbler lock, I think. Nope, never mind. Mom! Oh, that's what? Me. You found my reflectors! Yes, I found them, old man. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Mom, I'm fine. You're sure? Yes. Okay. Come on, we have to get out of here right now. Mom. He could be back any minute. I think we just have to run. Mom! Don't want to get cornered in here. Mom, listen to me! What? We have to go! Mom, oh, I'm not no. going. Huh? What do you mean? I can't go with you, Mom. I left the trail for you so I could say goodbye. What? Espen, you don't know what he's going to do. I've seen things, read things. I think he's going to try to... I know, Mom. I know what he's going to do. And what I have to do. Espen? Oh, no. He's coming. Quick, hide. Maybe you should hide, madam? You should not have come here. You took my son. Murderer. You take children from their homes. The fate I suffer is not one I enjoy. Nor is it one I have any choice in. The fate you Why is he stats like me? What about UK -ish? these children? All these children. They are chosen. They must come. Some of them, like your brave son, even choose to come. They're children, you fucking monster! They shouldn't decide if they live or die! Don't you lie to them! Lure them! I don't lie. I only tell them what must happen. There's no time for this. Sunrise draws near. Espen, we must leave. Get back! Don't you touch Mom, him! Mom, it's okay. It's going to be okay. No, don't hurt her! Run, Espen! Her? Run! You cannot protect him. Wait. Mom! Oh! Mom! No! Mom! Mom! I'm sorry. Yikes. How long was she out? What the hell is going on outside? It's like one o'clock in the morning. I know this won't probably go until January, but in the off chance, then the off chance is you know this does happen. To say big, big thank you to Deafening Clown for the uh, e card. I do appreciate it. Better take that key. Gate key. Okay, so. That must be what's in the in the cave. Anyways, yeah, so I, once again, big thank you. I do appreciate it, Bree. Um, you definitely cheered me up quite a bit. <clears throat> Bifrost. Okay. I know a little bit about Bifrost by Eric's journal. Scarcely could I look at myself in the glass this morning. The disgust I feel at the thought of my task makes it so I can barely eat. 
These past years, so long, fathers and mothers hide their little ones from me as the time grows close, but I always find one no matter how far I'm forced to roam. Hidden in a larder, or under a cot, I sneak down the mountain and steal them away. The isle was good as emptied of children, and Fenrir will accept no substitute. All was nearly lost but for Bifrost. Hmm. It shattered during the war, I guess maybe Ragnarok, and nearly lost its magic. It crashed all around in rainbow-colored shards from it. it still can still be used to traverse the plains between worlds. In desperation, I wandered upon a piece and followed it across to somewhere else, somewhere other. And there I found a child. <clears throat> children. More children than Fenrir could ever desire. I looked to these children. I took these children back across Bifrost, and the wolf was pleased. Oh. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, never mind, hang on. Somewhere else. But he saw my deception. He saw I had discovered something unrevealed. And he demanded more, always more, and more. The wolf knows about the hidden world. I put everything in danger by traveling there, but what choice had I? I can't sleep, can't eat. I see their faces, their red eyes and tears. They haunt me so I can hardly stand. I buckle under the weight of their terror. Gods help me. Okay, hang on. Um, yourself, Eric. Six, six, five? Let me write this down. I can find a pen. Bloody hell. I think that's a 665. Either that's 299. Now nah, I'm pretty sure that's 665. That's probably the key for the shed. And anyways, it looks like old Eric, whether it started out as positive and now ended on a negative note, he has to continue this task lest the apocalypse occur. An old reel to reel track. A few books and some helmets. But yeah, so there, I mean, I do want to give a big thanks to Bree for being so cool and hanging out with her in the mornings during her streams. Is there anything down here we can do? Nope. I'm guessing now we can go to the shed. And of course, Raven with your daily uh, contacts and talking to Ray. Always a pleasure. The uh, boogie nights is giving shadows to women. You know what, Lloyd? Sod off. With the exception of Panic Monk and Harkov, not too many people. No, well, I guess in Silverleaf, don't really do too much checking in, but. Okay, so 665. Hey! Ooh, got another note. Hang on. <clears throat> the wolf, Eric's tail. But the Fenris, once again, Fenris and Fenrir, I don't know the difference. I'm guessing it's probably just a vernacular thing, but I could be wrong. But the Fenris wolf followed us with a mind to devour our safe haven. He and Vaidar fought a ferocious battle before Vaidar stepped right into the wolf's mouth and took him by the jaws. The prophecy foretold Vaidar would snap the wolf's jaws in two, defeating him, but he was too badly wounded, too weary from battle. He shouted to the beast, Enough! Harm this land not, cursed wolf. Let us make a pact. Whatever you wish, only leave this land be. So that's what started the Faustian deal. So that was it. Not for fortune or power or anything like that. but for protection. Now, before we do that, I do want to go back through the cave really quickly and see if this also works in the cave here as kind of a roundabout. Probably, but I want to make sure all bases are covered. And I'm wondering what evil will become of next, and that babies has creeped me out. <clears throat> Yeah, so I, I apologize if my voice doesn't sound really that strong. I mean, I just... This this month has just kind of kicked my ass, y'all. I do apologize. So there's more to explore around here. Oh. That is creepy. Let's... Yeah, let's keep going now.
I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I also know that I have been doing a lot of Dark Souls, but then again, that's such an in-depth area. Okay, so we're back up here. So that does do a, quite an occupation of time, but I really do enjoy this game. I know I haven't been paying as much attention to it, but that, once again, it, it, it comes down to the bugs. Um, but there are a few things with the project coming up that I'm... What in the world is this? Achievement unlocked. Toy soldiers. It's a song by Martika. A lightsaber? Probably. Yikes. That looks like it could be Odin. Or Vidar. What? Holy crap. Wait. Espen Carlson. Male. Belongings, none. Good kid, but a little difficult. So this is... Willing... Okay, this is just creepy. Saying whether the child is willing or not. And it's all alphabetical by first name. Wait, so Espen was not willing, but I guess he probably accepted it later on. Eric Ekstrom, Palsrud, Darth Vader Lego figure. Rita the doll. Just trying to see if there's any other things that might stick out. Oh, no, hang on. Espen doll. So that's the latest one. I mean, makes perfect sense. So he was, his toy was reflectors. Brave and smart kid. First one leaving traces behind. Thinks I didn't notice. And a Kickstarter logo at the bottom. Well, well done, antagonist. I'll give you that. With a smiley face, too. Maybe Espen wrote his own name on that. Well, I mean, it did say he was willing. You know, actually, since it says Kickstarter at the bottom right, I wonder if all the children in this book are... Okay, Registry of Little Heroes. Yeah, these are these have got to be the people that donated via Kickstarter to this game. That's that's cute. I, I got to respect that. Nice job for giving the shout-outs, uh, antagonist. I really do like that idea. To every Ooh, hang on, I got another, another one. The children. Eric's journal. Warms my heart to see them play so. These children, so innocent and pure. Tis the purity the wolf craves, I think. Fenrir. The loathsome beast takes more and more. Takes from the isle. Takes from me. I don't know how much longer I can bear it. I feel the weight, the growing... The, weight, the growing weight of the grief we've caused. Sorry. The stench of corruption, never to be washed away. The guilt. All these boys and girls. The ones who cry. The ones who scream for their parents with red faces and ragged throats. The ones who don't understand. The near worse. The children who walk nobly into their fate. The ones who know what their sacrifice means to the rest of us. Who can't take their place. Though we wish we could. The ones who get themselves so that we may live. The ones like mine own son. Bloody hell, Eric. Okay, I think we've pretty much seen everything here, and it's really beginning to creep me out. Uh, so we're gonna leave. Look, I've... Look, you brass tacks, I've got a five-year-old niece, okay? So, seeing these things is kind of a memento mori to the children in the past is kind of giving me goosebumps for all the wrong reasons. Oh, Boogie Knight, you're just so too sensitive right now. <laughs> Lloyd, I'm sensitive about a lot of things, but, you know, this in particular, I'm not, but still, I mean, this story is very compelling. And I do love how now Espen's kind of done a uh, heel face turn instead of a face heel turn. Um. Ooh. Something down to the basement. A heel face turn to be kind of the noble sacrifice. That's kind of cool. In a really grim way. Let's see what there is down. Well, I guess this, since we didn't need to cut through the house, we have a way to go sneak around and look down in his basement and maybe see if there's anything else we can look at. I have a feeling this entry is this is going to have a lot more not too much creeping around and more of actual this exploration but I am curious, we've dealt with trolls and we've dealt with the Huldra 
Uh, I'm curious to see what other monsters there may be. Damn, is this where he... No, this is just probably more like a study of some sort. But we gotta explore everything. See what there is. Now, apparently, our deadline is dawn. Oh, Burks. Achievement unlocked. Fight Club. <laughs> Shoot. I, th I thought my... Damn it, I meant to explore other areas, but maybe we couldn't explore anything else. Oh, well, we haven't been playing that long, so we are going to continue to search the area and see what we can find. <clears throat> After I have a sip of water. <sighs> I'm glad I took the time to record this tonight. I really have missed this game. I do need to make a more of a concerted effort to record and upload this, as well as Absalava. Um, just to get my fix of lore. Um, but there are some fun things going up for the project coming up. As I said, um, Ray and I are going to be doing more reviews, and um, there is some talk about possibly uh, some other things for the project. We're just kind of waiting to see. And thank you all so much for showing support in her as well. She is a very awesome friend, and I do care about her project taking off. And What the hell? That ain't good. Okay. Including the uh, fiery dog thing? I don't think that's Finn that here. Getting close. Oh boy. Uh, we probably have to go this way, which is the way the creature came. But you know what? It reminds me of the Burning Crimson from um, Colina Legacy. Okay, so, so, we're going cave hunting, maybe. Uh, we're not just going to go tumbling butt over tea kettle down there. That's okay. I don't know, I kind of want to see more collaborations with the project um, for reviews or co-ops and stuff like that. Um, it is fun interacting with other people, and I do want to get back into some other stuff. But I, the, the big thing that I really need to focus on now, though, as much as it behoves me to say so, is just getting better. Because what's the point of recording if I'm just burnt out? And just being wiped? And as I said in my inner last interlude... You know, it's, there's a lot to deal with. <clears throat> oh, okay, come on. You can do it, madam. To this, I still don't know the madam's name. I kind of want to almost call her Lagatha, because she's kind of rocking the Catherine Winnick thing, and don't drop her. Now would be time to get off the bridge. So this is probably our next threat, is some sort of wolf creature, maybe in the same vein as Fendinir. We're just going to have to be really careful. Well, there's the torch that old Eric dropped. What? Great. Well, you know what? We've survived trolls and we've survived Huldra. So I bet this is going to become a chase across bridges. But what am I running from? And apparently we're speaking, we can understand their language. Alright, so stay frosty. <clears throat> we can understand it, maybe we can communicate. Oop, ugh, this is rocks. 
That's another good thing with this game is the ambience. The changing from one area to the next between rocks and snow and water. It works out really well. Ooh. Gah. Oh yeah, that's like a waypoint for if we die. Last I saw that was when we saw the gigantic eye coming out from the rock. So I'm guessing we're coming up to our next horror sequence, which probably means dying. So let's see. Okay, that's just the wind. Oh no. We have what looks like a derelict mine. And we gotta go right down there. Whoa! Guy! <laughs> the girl who cried wolf. Okay. I did not expect that. Turn around and there's the wolf. I was gonna look over the edge of the cliff to see. If we could locate the wolf, and there it is waiting for me. So, we are going to make a beeline straight into the mine, because I think the doors can barely let them squeak by. Let's see how this, how it got the drop on me. You know what? I'm not going to waste time. We're going to go ahead and make a beeline. it any easier or harder for me. Moonlight burns it. So we can get it out into the woods. Probably gonna be waiting for me, isn't it? This really is a game of cat and mouse, except where is the moon? Ugh. Bloody waypoint. Back down into the mine. Sorry. So we escape, we're in its territory. There's no way down the pit, except to our unruly demise, so we do have to go out that way. We can't jump it, but then again we saw red eyes go over there, but blue eyes is here. 
So let's go ahead. We can't hesitate. We go right. We can't follow us into these passages. That's what I figure. Ooh. Ugh. Just... Oh! Ugh, another... Tree. Nope. It's blocking my exit there, so we have to go this way. Um, achievement unlocked. Look, red Raiding Hood. What is going on? There we go. Apparently there's some... Um... Okay, so... We've got to do a little bit of the old roundy round action, because we can't get out that way. Blue-eyed wolf. He's waiting on the other side. I think. gone wrong? I guess so. Yeah, I guess we really can't go this way. We have to go by the wolf. Boop! Oh, damn it, that's just the tree. Okay, so it's blocking that way, so we do have to make a break. What? Okay. Or that could happen, for instance. So we really have to keep the torch in front of us at all times. Into the tunnel. I wonder if this will still bug out. Yeah, it still is. We can see the tree a little bit better blocking our path. Okay, so... We get it to go over here, we grab the torch, we wave said torch. Nope, nope, and nope. Torch, we make for it. I think we just have to do like a serial tapping or something like that. I think we're okay because we're inside, but I don't know. I'm not even sure where the hell we need to go. I'm guessing probably that way where there's more torch light. Oh, bricks! We really 
I can't stop to look. We really just have to grab the torch and just bolt. Nope, too late. Achievement unlocked among the sleep. Okay, so this really is, we just have to grab... What is the point of waving the torch? It doesn't stop it. Do we really have to be, like, facing the beast and going for the wave? Catch your breath. Okay, so it's gonna go with waiting there. <clears throat> Come on, think, knight. Don't just react. This thing can't enter tight spaces. It can't enter. Oh, there it is, top side. Go. What? So waving it doesn't even do anything. So we really just have to grab the torch and then... Oh wait, no. The torch is for the red-eyed wolf. The blue-eyed wolf is affected by moonlight. Okay. So we, can we really just have to grab the torch and go. You gotta use the moonlight for that one, so it really is the Brothers of Red and Blue. Okay. Nope, nope, and no. Nope, we're dead. Nope. Where do we go once we grab this? Oh, god damn it. Hmm. There's something in the mine we have to use. Now, maybe the wolf will only attack us out. Maybe once we can get to a lower area, like an overhang, it won't follow us in there. Like, it'll only get to us on the outside, so maybe we can, get to, we can test that theory by maybe a smaller space like this. Which the wolf won't follow us. And it says it wants the game of chase. There it comes. Maybe the trees are some form of protection, too. I don't know. You know, times like this, I kind of wish that I was treading a little bit softer, or, you know, maybe had a knife. Okay, so we grab the torch. Waving it doesn't do squat, apparently, but that's okay. We need to find... Another overhang, or something like that. Come on, madam. Don't look back. Just keep running. You can almost feel the desperation in her. So now we have... Feels like moonlight. So maybe the blue-eyed wolf is not going to be able to follow us out here. And now we have to deal with the red-eyed wolf. And that's where the torch comes into play. And this area does not look ominous at all. Flanked by Odin statues. Or some sort of maybe Vidar. Oh. 
portal gap or portal gap. I don't know. Similar structure to um those doors we saw in the very beginning. This area is dark as pitch. Please, I just want to find my son. I can hear you talking. Do you understand me? Please, don't kill me. I know about you. Oh, you're trapped here. this. Yep. Cornered. Damn it. <laughs> Don't take me back to that one waypoint. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll just take me back to the gap. Okay, cool. So we're back at Portal Gap. So there we go. Sun and moon. So we need to find a way to let the moon in. Please. What? Okay, so we can't get too close. I was waving the torch, so okay, I'm getting I'm getting restless. Hang on. I'm not restless, I'm getting antsy. Instead of we gotta run from the blue up one. That much we do know. Please, I just want to find my son. I can hear you talking. Do you understand me? Please, don't kill me. I know about you. Oh, you're trapped here. Brothers. I can let you out of here. I just want to be left alone. We make our own Faustian deal. Oh god. I can let you out of the ravine if you promise to let me go. You realize what this will mean for the Isle. You know our reputation. I don't give a shit about this island. Yeah. I just want to find my son. Very well. We have an agreement. The key opens the door behind you. Go and open it. We will remain here. Then you may leave. Huh? That's it? How do I know you won't just kill me afterwards? Huh. You don't. But neither do you have a wealth of options. True. You would prefer to stay here, you may. We are unable to die. So we shall see who sees first. 
besides which we understand you have somewhere you wish to be mm. you may decide fine if one of you comes near me i am going to throw this key and good luck unlocking this door with your paws <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna open this. Sorry, I was scrolling through some thanks to you, little creature. Oh, come on. Hey! No! You promised! What happened? Are we at a new area? What's going on? Very well. we have an oh, okay. So apparently, the door behind you. Go and open it. We will remain here. Then you may leave. Okay. So something happened. I bet we have to go this way. Oh, long pig. Okay, so we went the wrong way and it killed us. Who? Achievement unlocked. It's a bargain. Oh, oh. Well, that was creepy as hell. Ooh. Dawn is coming. Our price is... We have another village. I've... So our key doesn't work here. Oh. Where the witch in the mire, Crone's vile magic brings visions of terrible deeds from the dark past, forces ye to watch them relived. Beguiled folks wade into the fen and never return. If ye hear a lovely crooning, there be no shame in turning back. Where the veiled hag? The herd. I think this is as probably as good of a place. In the fire? Jesus Christ, you can't be serious. Apparently we are, madam. And I think this is probably as good of a place to end tonight as any. Um, once again, I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as I am. Please let me know if you have any comment feedback. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I read every comment. And I try to reply to every comment. Um, I promise I'll pick this up sooner rather than later so we can keep the story going. Also, as always, a big thank you to Christoph Frey for being the sponsor of the Bogey Night Project. We really enjoy horror games with a folk emphasis on story, character development, overall creepy ambiance. Check the link in the description below. I can guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. So, of course, with that being said, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page, and if you're so morbidly fascinated, my Patreon. Otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic night, and I'll catch you on the flip side, all right? Peace.